Namaskar, welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, I would like to share with you all an important concept of Indian banking sector reforms that is about prudential norms that is capital adequacy ratio and non-performing assets. As a part of the program of economic stabilization and structural adjustment, the government of India launched financial sector reforms in 1991. Its aim was to enhance the efficiency and productivity of banks to the global standards and to empower them to compete with global banks, improving the financial health of banks by prescribing efficient capitalization process and restructuring of weak and sick banks. Prudential norms. The Committee on Reforms on the Financial System under the chairmanship of Narsimhan recommended a series of reforms of which the RBI immediately implemented the prudential norms. They are capital adequacy, income recognition and asset classification. It also includes making provision for non-performing assets. The aim of prudential norms is to improve the financial health of banks and total quality in the balance sheet so that it reflects that it means balance sheet reflects a true picture of the financial position of the bank. Capital adequacy ratio is the ratio of capital funds in relation to its assets. The Basley Committee on Banking Regulations and Supervisory Practices appointed by the Bank of International Settlements has prescribed capital adequacy standards for commercial banks. These are called BIS standards and are implemented by banks in several countries. BIS standard measures the capital adequacy as a ratio of capital to the risk weighted assets and was fixed at 8 percent. The RBI adopted the same later some changes were brought into it. Non-performing assets. The international practice is that an asset is treated as non-performing when interest is overdue for at least two quarters. In such case, interest is not recognized on a accrual basis. Other non-performing assets are, in respect of term loans, interest is due for more than 180 days. For overdraft, 180 days. Again, bill overdue for more than 180 days and the amount outstanding for 30 days after due date. Here, non-performing means when a loan is paid along with interest installment the bank has to receive only after receiving they can show it in the balance sheet if they do not receive they cannot show in the balance sheet as income this is the meaning of non performing assets for making provisions health codes are classified into four broad groups they are standard assets substandard assets doubtful assets and loss assets in case of loss assets, entire asset should be written off or 100 percent provision should be made. Means, suppose if it is a, like a loss asset, means it will not, it is, it crossed 180 days and the bank did not receive either principal amount or the interest, it should not be shown or if at all they have to show in the balance sheet, 100 percent provision should be made, that reserve like. In case of doubtful assets, the bank should make 50 percent provision. In respect of substandard assets, general provision of 10 percent of total outstanding should be created. That is all in this video. Thank you for watching. God bless you.